Hey, what is up guys? Tom Spark coming at you with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about how to prevent doxing. Now you might be wondering, well, what is doxing? Well, doxing basically means it's someone getting information that isn't theirs from just another user on the internet. This can be done through sniffing credit card information, social security numbers, um, email IDs, or anything like that. So if someone doxes you, they could use documents to kind of trace information about you, find your real address, uh, find credit information, credit cards, um, all sorts of information about you. You may have heard people getting doxxed on um, Reddit and stuff like that. Basically, someone is posting stuff and they have post history, enough information for someone to track them down and find out information about them. And once people have this information on the internet, a lot of bad things can happen. Bomb threats, uh, police coming to the door, pizzas being sent to the door, people even poop on your door. Um, basically, on the internet, if you're a public person, or even just someone who's working on a blog or something like that with your public name out there. You can be blackmailed and dangerous things can happen. So you really don't want to be doxxed on the internet. And you've seen a lot of good examples of high profile cases like Jennifer Lawrence and stuff like that. Um, getting doxxed and having her nudes and stuff like that. Uh, be leaked and stuff like that. That's a, more of a hacking kind of situation. But hacking and doxxing are really kind of similar in that someone's trying to take information from someone. Now hacking has more to do with someone breaking into your computer whereas doxing could just exist on the internet with information that's readily available. So you really gotta be careful um, and protect yourself against doxing because then it can actually happen a lot more than you might think. I could go on Reddit right now and easily find multiple users who have post history, real names, images, and stuff like that that can easily be doxed. So a lot of people who have malicious intent do this on a regular basis. You can be blackmailed for Bitcoin, blackmailed for all sorts of things, maybe even nude pictures and stuff like that if you're a female or male. But there you go. So guys, how are you going to protect yourself against doxing? You know that it's a real threat. I myself have been blackmailed before. Um, so you really got to keep your public information private online. Don't reveal your real name. So what can you do to prevent doxing? Well, I have five tips for you. So number one, you're going to want to use a password manager. Um, the best thing you can do online is to have secure complex passwords with uh, complex digits and stuff like that. You don't want to be using the same password everywhere on the internet. This is super dangerous. So make sure to use a good password manager um, secured behind two-factor authentication. My favorite one to use is LastPass. Um, pretty cheap overall and overall password managers can be a bit annoying to set up at first. But once you get going and stuff like that, it's really convenient to have auto-filled websites and stuff like that. Alright guys, number two is hide your real name online to prevent doxing. So you really don't want to hide your real name. I mean, it's okay to have like that Facebook account, but you want to make sure to keep it locked down, try to keep it private. Um, you don't want to be posting your real name on forums and stuff like that. Additionally, you don't want to really create accounts with your real name and be using with games or accounts like that either. So people could use that information and find information about you and dox you. If you have a Reddit profile and you're posting content, maybe a picture of yourself, someone gets curious, they find that picture and then they kind of go through some of your content. Maybe you have a video with your real name in it or something like that. You can easily be doxed that way. So guys, just make sure to hide real name because you could really get doxed quite easily once someone finds out your real name. All right, guys. So once you do that, you're going to want to stay private. That's number three. Stay private. So like I was just saying, if you have a Reddit profile, gaming profiles, anything like that, don't post your real name. Don't post locations. Don't post anything that can lead back to you as an individual. Don't underestimate how powerful history on the Internet can be. Um, people will use that information against you if they want to and are malicious enough. So guys, number four is don't talk to suspicious people, email, Skype, Reddit, Facebook, whatever it may be. If someone's talking to you and they don't know who they are, be very suspicious. Don't click on links. Don't give information. And if they attempt to blackmail you with some information they've already doxxed from you, maybe like your social security number, just don't give in to their demands. Don't give them any money, any Bitcoin or anything like that. The best thing you can do is just remove this person as quick as possible. Start changing up some of your passwords if they're compromised and make sure that your credit history or some of your bank accounts and stuff like that are safe and secure. But there you go, guys. Just don't talk to you suspicious that somehow gets a hand of you. It can be hard if you're working online and sometimes people can masquerade as potential clients. So just be careful vetting those properly. 
Now guys, number five is to use a VPN. Now this channel is strictly mostly about VPNs, so you can see why I'm recommending it. But honestly guys, using a VPN in public Wi-Fi spaces is actually pretty mandatory. If you're going to Starbucks, the airplane, or even movie theaters, or even somewhere like Target that has public Wi-Fi, you're really going to want to secure your internet with a VPN. The reason being is that these Wi-Fi hotspots are very unsecure and actually unprotected, which is why when you connect, these will actually have warnings telling you so. So if you're not using a VPN, people can actually sniff out your password login information super easily if they have a little bit of technical know-how. You don't even really need that much. So a VPN will encrypt your traffic and information and help you stay secure. But even at home, you should use a VPN to hide your IP address, which prevents someone from finding your real world location. All right, guys, so I am wrapping it up for this video on how to prevent doxing and how to stay secure and private online. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see any future additional content. My name is Tom Spark, logging out.